Hi, I'm Big Mama Thornton, and this is Trailers from Hell. You know, the critics love to rave about all sorts of indie filmmakers, but one of the grandmasters never seems to grab their attention anymore, and that's John Sayles. For close to 40 years, he's been writing, directing, editing, and even acting in a series of very low-budget films that are as eye-opening and thoughtful as they are entertaining. And perhaps one of his very finest is one of his least seen. At the end of 2007, Honey Dripper played for one week in one theater in Santa Monica and then dribbled across the country, finally vanishing into the ether after barely taking in $250,000. And it's a damn shame. It's one of the most engrossing looks at the black experience I've ever seen. Brimming with intelligence, heart, humanity, and some of the most sensational music you'll ever hear, Honey Dripper is a wonderful film. So let's start them fingers snapping and toes a tapping. It's the last stand for Tyrone Purvis in the Honey Dripper Lounge. Lucky, give me two weeks. Lucky, got a better offer. As you can see, you don't need a mega budget to do a period piece. Like his 1987 masterwork Mate One, set in 1920, Sales does a tremendous job of making us believe we are where he wants us to be. And familiar faces like Danny Glover and Charles Dutton, as well as a few white folk like Mary Steenburgen and Stacey Keach, Welcome us as we enter a world that is quite strange to most of us. This excellent trailer deftly sketches out the plot. Glover's traditional blues joint, the honey dripper of the title, is losing business to a rival that's offering what we might call proto-rock and roll. He finally decides to try one electric musician, but quicker than you can say 42nd Street, he needs a replacement. And fast. Sales juggle several balls at once, and they all land squarely where they're supposed to, making this a supremely satisfying picture. A fair amount of the music is original, but it sure sounds authentic, and artists like Keb Moe, as a kind of guardian angel figure, add their own unique style. In fact, Ruth Brown was supposed to be in the film and even recorded some songs, but sadly passed away just before shooting began. She was replaced by Mabel John, who was one of the first artists signed by Barry Gordy way back in the 1950s, although one of Ruth's tracks is included on the soundtrack CD. One more great thing about this trailer is Sale's appreciation of actors is demonstrated by the fact that he built so many of them, even though several were not well known at the time and a couple still aren't. Oh, and those Alabama locations are real. Indeed, Hank Williams' boyhood home was in that very neighborhood. Honey Dripper runs just over two hours, but it's one of those rare pictures you would just wish would keep on going. You don't want it to end. It's just that fantastic. Watch the movie, listen to the CD, and thank the deity of your choice that we have an artist like John Sayles who shows us that you don't need a big budget if you have big talent. Rock on. Here's what you've all been waiting for. Honey Dripper, a film by John Sayles.